Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, let's get in there. Check it in on right quick on a quick love date. Got these new calibers in, man. Uh, C7, B, C7, uh, Z51 calibers. Oh, big boys, man. I'm just showing a comparison. Compared to the two piston to these. Man, man, man. Godly. Ooh. Body's looking good though. This need, this need a little spit shine on there sitting up. But Ooh, woo. man, hold on YouTube. Why YouTube faded back? Oh sucks. Camera upside down. Faded back YouTube. Just the rears right here. Man, look at these rears. The rears almost. Real is bigger than the than the the C7 is real bigger than the C5s, man. Golly, golly, boy. Ooh, ooh. Just a little, just a little sneak peek. Over and out. Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, Mr. Getting out, man. Got a little treat for y'all today, man. We checking in. First time this year, man. We checking in. First time this year. On the cutty, man. Cutty update. First time this year on the cutty. Uh, first time this year update for the cutty, man. Apologies. 2019 been. I've been trying to keep it moving, so I ain't even having time to get to my own little project slash other little personal stuff going on in life, stuff like that. There, so I'm trying to get back on track, man. Get it going, man. You know, was to get in there, the people's champ, man. And the people been asking about the cutting, man. I've been letting the people down. I got a little update for y'all today. We got, I got an update on brake calibers today. I got to do a, a, a paint spray out tomorrow. I would have did it today. Didn't have no thinner and no uh, carburetor cleaner to clean the paint gun out for all the multiple colors. Uh, I got about three or four more spray outs, candy spray outs to make me do once I make the final conclusion on that I'm going to pull out all the new suspension that we got for the cutty we got all new suspension for the cutty man the cutty ain't the same cutty you seen on whatever the last video whatever we got all new suspension to pull out for the cutty I got to paint all that suspension uh, got new shocks uh the real, I did a video on the real uh, uh, control lawns. Never painted them. Sprayed them epoxy primer. Never painted them. They probably a year old somewhere. I think they're in the trunk of the cutty. Uh, what else? What else? What else? So once I do those spray outs tomorrow or the next day, I got about four. Let me see. I got a red. Then with a cherry mixed. Got another red with a purple mixed. I got about three, four more can of spray outs. Might be more than that because I got a couple different bases I need to experiment with as well. So, once we get the spray outs, pick the color. Hopefully, this weekend, maybe next week, we'll be spraying uh, suspension parts, get the frame back together, get it a rolling frame. Only thing I'm missing for the frame. Uh, Spindles. I gotta get some more spindles. And I gotta make another bracket for this rear. This bracket I got here, it's gonna work, but it's not gonna work for what I want it to work. So I get to that when I get to talk about this video. This is what we got, you two. We got 2016 C7 calibers. That's what we got. <coughs> I got a four piston all four corners. I got some six pistons as well. They rough, rough, rough. I gotta get them all. Um, I gotta rebuild them and get them blasted. But the reason why I'm not gonna use them, I'm trying to keep the train going, I'm trying to hurry up and get this G by, uh, get this cutty finished. I'm hoping to have it done, man, by the fall. That's what, that's my goal. Thanksgiving, pull it off of Bayou Classic in New Orleans. That's the goal, man. I don't know if we're gonna make the goal. We're gonna damn sure try, man. 
uh, uh, hopefully, maybe too, not too much longer after that, hopefully, time ain't waiting for no man, been in this too long, could have been finished it, but hey, another story for another day, but anyway, I got six pistons, I got some six, six pistons as well for the front, but they just, but they got to work with 15 inch rollers. I'm not gonna go with the 15 inch rollers right now. I really can't spare the 700 bucks on 16, so on 15 inch rollers right now. So I'm gonna roll with the 14 inch rollers with the four pistons fronts, four pistons on the front, four pistons in the rear. That's what we're gonna run with. Uh, I haven't seen a cutter yet with with C7 calibers yet. Uh, I seen a. Uh, Malibu, not Malibu, I'm sorry, I seen a, uh, um, uh, like a 96 Impala with the C7 Z0, C7 Z0, Z07, I think that's what it's called, C0, C7 Z07, six piston fronts, and he had the same four piston in the rear, uh, that was uh who that was guy on Instagram thinking they Chevy bullets bullets I think that's that's who that was that guy always doing brake swaps over there you can't go to his shop without getting without getting no brake swap I see that but uh, a lot of people be trying to push uh, ring me in the mug and I be telling about brake swaps man you gotta get the brakes right man you got five thousand dollar wheels you got a nice motor upgrade the brakes have all that looking good behind the wheel man teachers on but anyway that's another topic. Another day, catch me on Instagram. I talk a lot of shit about the guys with the rusty drums. But anyway, uh, this is what we got for the cutting. Four piston calibers, front and rear. Uh, we got, I got the uh, Black Hawk ceramic performance slash blah, blah, blah pads for these. The pads was like five, almost 500 bucks, man, just for pads, man. Uh, um, I got new modern day shit, so I, we ain't got the pads to match them, man. Could have got some autos on pads. We ain't got the pads to match them. Uh, <clears throat> so right now I'm in the process of uh, breaking them down. As so, you see these bad boys are almost brand new, man. Nice and clean. So I had a, a black car gray. I can throw them right on while you paint them. See that four pistons. Four pistons in the front. But right now, then I'm gonna change them out later. Be late in the game. I go six pistons in the front with the 15 inch big boy rotors. Like I say, can't justify to drop 700 on rotors. Not right now at this time. I need to get the bill going. Uh, I can find 700 bucks to spend wisely somewhere else. I need to get the, the Holly Dash next. I need to get the Holly Dash. That's like 12, 1300 bucks. So spending 700 on rollers ain't justified right now. Unless somebody got a mad, mad hookup deal for me. All right, so uh, that's what we got. A little update on the Cuddy. With fade back. I don't know, I might post this for y'all. I'm already seven minutes in yap in my mouth I might go and post this I might just wait to get all it together post a little 15 minute video or something I might go and post this man a uh, couple people asking about cutting update uh, the bracket I got right here is for 13.3 rotors but I'm going 14 and a quarter rotors on the back I'm going with a uh, 2010 SS real rotors 2010 SS Camaro real rollers. Those rollers on those Camaros, 14 and a quarter in the rear and they 14 in the front. Why GM did that, I don't know. Maybe they need the extra quarter for uh, biting, for the bite with the rollers. I mean, bite with the, the pads. I don't know, but I don't know why they made the back it's bigger than the front, but that's what they did. Don't ask me, take it up with the GM engineers. I'm just telling you what's facts. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, this what we going with. I'm kind of on the fence thinking about changing. I got some, uh, 
I'm supposed to post a picture. I got, if any of y'all remember the the 87 Buick uh, Grand National came with a color called Rosewood. I got some Rosewood here. A little modern day with an extra twist with a metallic in it, Rosewood. I think about painting Rosewood, but I got some uh, rose gold, metallic rose gold. It kind of look pinkish, but it I'm trying to see what that is in the paint. Uh, kind of look a little pinkish, but it got a little flop to it. Mm. This metallic rose gold, Tamco metallic rose gold. That's what I'm painting the calibers with. Uh, something different. I was thinking about going ahead and painting red with the car, but I think I'm gonna do something different, man. Uh, the rosewood wasn't the kind of match, so I think I'm gonna go with this. Tell me what y'all think, man. So you can see that that rose, that rose gold, can also kind of look like that pinkish, like like you look at certain rose rose gold watches. Some of them got that gold slash. It look gold, but it got a pinch of pink on it. But some of them look kind of pinkish. This one. This what this one kind of look like. You can see all the metallic flakes in it. I tell me what y'all think, man. That's what I'm thinking about going with on the calibers. I got that just for the. I got that just for the calibers. Uh. So um, that's it, YouTube. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Update. So tomorrow, so I'm gonna finish getting these broke down. Might finish getting them broke down, and I'll fade back. Give y'all a couple of more minutes to watch, and I'll fade back over and out. What up, YouTube? Your boy was getting checking in. Fade it back. Um, part two, whatever you want to call it. Resume, continue of the first video I did with the uh, C7 brakes. I got my Bulldog, got my Tamco. 2010 top dog he's a promoter this stuff is badass man works good works better than uh than uh the other he's a promoter what's the name of? i think his name top dog as well bulldog bulldog works better than the bulldog it's it's bites man so i always spread it on my brake calibers before i go with my paint but this case since i had to sand off the decals I'm going to see how those low spots, I'm going to spray me a little sealer just around here, probably just right around here. Spray me a little sealer. Then after that, I'm going to let it flash off 10, 15 minutes. Then we're going to pound on the paint. Uh, pulled out the solder jet. Uh, solder jet guards, forgive me. But that's the only gun I got disposable cups. I didn't feel like cleaning the gun. So I'm going to use the solder jet for sealer, base, and clear coat. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, uh, I'm gonna give me a 3M system for my other guns. Just haven't having a chance to pull the trigger on that man. Anybody got something I did want to donate some cups to me? Hey, send them on over here to get in that lab. Uh, some disposable cups. The adapter. I need a adapter for my Velblis, and I need a adapter for my uh, and I need a adapter for my uh. Uh, shucks on the tip of my tongue. Um, I can't think of it. Uh, Word. That's the same dab as that water. Uh, LPV 400, though. So, anybody got any of those laying around, want to donate to me? I'll take them. But uh, I'll fade back when we get the seal on here. Then we get some paint over them now. Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, Mr. Getting that check it in. Quick little update on these rose gold calibers, man. That's what we got, man. Flicking rose gold metallic. It's not a solid um, base, solid metallic base like others. Uh, is a metallic. Uh, look pretty good, man. Look pretty good. Um, I ain't quite happy with the calibers. I quite didn't do the process that I normally do with the epoxy. Sprayed the primer. Had some something going on. I don't know. The web up spot. I don't know. I can see a little spot where it's too low. It need to be built back up at, but I ain't worrying about it. It's just calibers. 
through the wheels. You shouldn't even be able to see that imperfection. If you is looking at my shit that hard, you notice that you a hater and I'm gonna cuss your ass out, period. But anyway, uh, like uh, like right here, but I think once I bury this heavy clean on there, this town cool, high impact. 50% solid contents, no 50, 55, I think. I think it's 55 on the impact. The impact is a high solid. No, I think it's an impact, it might be 60. I know it's a higher solid than the other clear. The other clear, 54%. This is a high solid as well. Even with the 54%, once I smash that on nice and wet and creamy, should bury it, won't be noticeable. Um, y'all help me out, let me know what decal I think I should go with. Uh, black. Maybe red, maybe. I don't know, y'all let me know what color decal you think I should put on there. I didn't want to put it under the clear because chain for mine with the calibers, I need to repaint them. I didn't want to have to sand them all the way down to get through the clear to the decal. I could just get the decal off, scuff them up, shoot them, but if I ever did repaint them, I'd probably get them blasted all the way down, nigga, because I'm not 100% I like not 100% happy how it came out, but I live with it though. Sometimes we ain't happy with what we got, but we live with it. So, you got fade back with pound of clean overnight. Yeah, whatever you choose, you get it up. We faded back, man. We finally check it back. We complete on the G Biter big break video. Uh, I'm gonna come at y'all with, with the G Biter updates, man. With the Cuddy updates, man. A lot of y'all been asking for the Cuddy update, man. Y'all gonna get it, man. Get your popcorn. Get your get your get your get your beer. Get your cigarettes. Get your get your cookies and cream, ice cream. Get whatever you need for entertainment. When I when you get that notification bell, G body update, Cuddy update. When you see Cuddy update come to your phone, you at work. You better tell your boss, man. You gotta go take a 15, bro. You gotta watch that G body update because it's gonna be 15 or better. Might be 20. You might tell you might need to tell your boss, man. You need to take two 15 minute breaks. I gotta watch Get In There video, man. Y'all been asking for it. Y'all gonna get it. Y'all shouldn't have been asking for it. You wouldn't have been getting it like this. So, hey, y'all been asking. This is what y'all gonna get, man. All right, YouTube, fade it back. Rose gold, metallic, rose gold. Look at that metallic, metallic, rose gold calibers, man. I wasn't sure about it at first. I had a little chemical reaction right there, man. I don't know what happened. I had sanded it down. Still had a reaction. Probably from that um powder coat or whatever that is that they use. Had some kind of chemical reaction. I ain't worrying about it. Really won't be able to see it. I'm not even sure I'm gonna keep them these color. Uh, might change them, but I think I'm gonna keep them though. This color. Only thing my downfall was if I ended up with a rose gold wheel. Rose gold calibers, I don't know, but it's a it's gonna be a different rose gold, so it won't be the same exact, so it still might work. <coughs> I don't know. I wanna do the rose gold wheel, get it out of my system, then go brush and leave it like that, but who knows man. Might end up with spokes and datings or swingers on it or something, man. Nah, we ain't getting no swingers, man. I'll do me a box ship, you're gonna get some swingers on it. I promise you that. Takes a style. Wild wheels on it. Swingers. I promise you that. But uh, that's a YouTube. Metallic. Had a little reaction right there too, man. So I didn't do these how I usually do them. I should have pounded on the epoxy primer first. Then I should have pounded on my sealer. Because I had a couple of low spots when I sanded this Carvet words off. I should have hit it with my sealer, damn my paint, but that was just going to linger on the process. But you hit it with the epoxy primer, you got to wait 24 hours for so your top coat. It. So that would have been the next day. Seal it, paint it. I mean, but I didn't think I was going to have problems, but that's why I seal them. All my brake jobs, brake calibers. That's why my brake calibers cost a little bit more because the process of me painting I do everybody else stuff right. Did a little shortcut on mine. Look what happens. Not bad. I mean, chemical reactions. Not bad. I could have been a little heavy with the 
with the um with the base. I could have been spraying it on a little heavy. Oh, uh, but it's a chemical reaction, you know, something happened. Uh, usually when something like that happened on the car, I sand it all the way down, prime it, wipe it down good, wax grease, remove alcohol, spray it again, cross my fingers, hope I don't have that problem. Usually I don't have that problem on the second time on a car. But uh, that's what we got. Everybody get a little video out in the sun tomorrow. Uh, let me see too. I still got my gloves on. I can see. Get a little quick video out of the sun. Yeah, man. Rose gold metallic, man. Tamco. Rose gold metallic, man. For the cutting. 2017 C7 brakes. Focus, focus, focus. Ooh, that's gonna look good, boy. When the wheels chopping behind there. Y'all let me know what uh, the Carvet word it need to be. Black, red, yellow, <clears throat> green, purple, white. Let me know. I don't know. Uh, rose gold metallic. Town coat paint, man. Shout out to Time Co. Paint. Shout out to the sponsor. Get in the lab, man. Making moves, man. Sponsors, man. Sponsorships. Hold on, YouTube. Love getting stuck to the inside. Yeah. It's high impact dry kind of quick, too. They got a 30 minute high impact. I wish I'd had a 30 minute. When I shoot the suspension parts, I probably will have a 30 minute high impact. What do we got, YouTube? Metallic rose gold. Big brakes on the cutting, man. That's what y'all want. That's what y'all ask for, man. Cut updates back to back, man. We back over and up. Hit that, hit that thumb button. Hit that subscribe button, man. I noticed y'all not hitting the subscribe button. I get a lot of traffic through the channel. I, I appreciate that. Y'all ain't hitting that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Right over there on the right hand side of the corner. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification, man, if you want updates on this cutty. Cause that's what you're gonna start getting. Updates on the cutty. That's probably all you're gonna get for the next couple weeks. Updates on the cutty, man. That's it, man. Bowman's getting up. Appreciate everybody for riding with me. We finna get this thing going, man. If you don't get gone, man, I'ma sell everything. Just go buy me a new vet and a motorbike, man. <laughs> Hell with the G body gang. Give me a new vet and a motorbike. And get that anyway, a motorbike anyway. But I for sure just say hell with all that. If I don't get this car done. Sell everything for cheap. Get me a new vet and a motorbike. Or, or a motorbike and a Lambo. <laughs> Credit good enough to get a Lambo. That's all you need is credit. I ain't got no lot of money. I got a little credit now. That's all you need. Well, to get in there. Over and out. Yo, what up, you two? Well, to get in there. Checking in on a quick little update, right quick, man. I went ahead and waited till the next day to drive so I can show y'all the day after the wetness, man, of the town coat. No dive back, man. She's still wet. She's gonna stay wet. Spray it wet. She leaves. She's Spray it with, she gonna stay wet, man. Uh, so we got man the rose gold. Y'all let me know what color you think I should do these letters. I'm thinking black. Then I was thinking the red. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, so I go and get my decals put on them. Uh, I wish I could have got them engraved. Boy, that'd be dope, man. We got get in there engraved or something. But, but uh, anywho, yeah, got the rose gold, got the rose gold metallic, rose gold Tamco, Tamco rose gold metallic. If you like this color, you want this color on your car, it don't matter. If you want it on your bicycle, email me. I get you a good price on the on the rose gold. Want some calipers painted? Email me. My caliper price is about 150 to 200. Just depends on the color, man. Uh, just depends. Yeah, that's what we got you to. After seven days, 
the uh, can't even get it out. After seven days, this uh, high impact be fully cured. It'd be scratch resistant. It'd be almost strong as powder coat. Not not as quite as strong, but just as strong. Close, pretty close. See, right now it's still soft. You gotta if you if you spray this on your car. I'll probably be doing it on the cutty. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it on the whole cutty or just the front clip. But my car will be a highway car, man. It's ain't no trailer queen. It's be on the trailer, but it's not getting built for to be on the trailer. Uh, so I'll probably do it on the front cap, hood, bumper, fenders, etc. Uh, you get seven days to cut and buff this. After that, I heard a lot, a lot, a lot of horror stories. Say that shit was hard as crap. They didn't want buff. I see one guy in the town court group said he buffed it months later. He had no problems. So maybe he had a different method, but I heard a lot of horror problems. After seven days, you can't buff. If you do buff, you're going to catch hell. But uh, I want the town court. Man, that's hit, man. I'm really feeling it, man. I'm really feeling this, man. I'm really feeling this. Got the sun out. Yeah, I'm glad I went this way, man, on the cutty. Something different. Uh, something different. I think same man design got some copper color ca uh, calibers for his car. I don't know if it's his car. It say same man, so... But it was copper, but I think I seen a lot of rose gold, man. So something different. Roll with it like this for Cuddy for right now, and for change my mind, etc. That's it, though, YouTube. That's it, man. Sorry, dipped in on me a little bit. I ended up spearing with a candy over it too. Uh, they made a nice candy. It's just, the color so bright. It was about five coats before I really got a deep coverage, a deep color how I wanted it. It was, it was a nice, I might have experimented with that again. Uh, turned out to make a nice color, nice candy. Can't tell you what, what color I did, but. Got some more can experiments coming later on. I might post it for y'all, man. But that's it, YouTube. Just wanted to show you the Tamco Rose Gold. Metallic Rose Gold. See, you see? See the metallic in it? See that little spot? You can see it. That's from uh, the old primer. The, not primer. The powder coat, but the letter's gonna go right across there, so you ain't gonna notice that. So hey, just breaks. Somebody looking through the wheel noticed that. Just stand too hard, you a hater. Straight like that. But uh, trying to get the sun come back out. Clouds in the way. Poking back out now. There you go. There she go. There's it though, you too. Over and out.